right? So is there actually a fastest and you know easiest way to grow to 10,000 followers on Instagram? And there is, my friends. And of course, the answer is going to be a little bit controversial, but I'll tell you in a minute why it's actually not. But first, let's roll it out. Welcome back, my friends. My name is Dominic. If you're new here, by the way, we do all all of the things you know around social media about Instagram, and I'm actually just waiting for the official announcement for this new Instagram content creation hub. If you don't know about it, here's the video about it. Um, I'm still waiting for that because once that thing you know rolls out, we're going to be focusing on that here. So that you know, whenever that comes out, you are going to be one of the first and one of the best creators out there. We're going to make sure, I'm going to make sure of that, right? Anyway, so if you want to get stuff like this, you know, all, all of these things around social media, all of these things around Instagram, be sure to hit that subscribe button, of course, and you know, obviously give me a bell because that's what you're supposed to do, obviously, here. Right, so what about the strategy? Probably most of you have, at least in some form, have heard about this strategy. Some people don't like to use it because they kind of think it's crap or they kind of think it's lame or whatever. It's actually not. But, you know, let me get into that in a little bit. We're talking about, at least in some iteration, the follow on follow strategy and before you close this video right now let me actually tell you why it's actually not that bad of an idea at least if you do it right because if you do it wrong and we're going to talk about what you can do wrong and what will happen if you do it wrong if you do it right you will actually gain like real people that are really interested in your stuff before you close this video right now and something like ah follow and follow man this is crap this is cheating and there's a ghost in the back i hear it let me tell you actually you know what social media is all about the real meaning behind it the real concept behind you know social media and marketing and all of that and then decide for yourself if if it's actually that bad or not first of all social media is all about the creators behind it it's about people that create cool content it's about all about the content it's about giving and also it's about receiving back and it's actually great because like while it's a fairly kind of new form of communication and you know, marketing and all of that for example back in the days or actually right now if you go to some you know sort of crowded street in the city you're going to find these people that hand you out these flyers hand you out these things and actually they're giving you stuff they're giving lots of people their stuff to actually check it out on here and by you reading it you actually decide okay depending on the content that's on there depending on what the show is about depending whatever it is you know you're going to actually check that out check them out go to the content or whatever so if you will in some sort of way handing out flyers is some sort of you know follow and follow Gary V strategy just for the offline world if you think about that all of a sudden it's not that bad of an idea right and it's actually is the best and the fastest way to create to create that initial traction that you need for social media because nowadays it's harder than ever to gain like real people that come to you by themselves you know by either hashtags which are mostly broken and all of that and you know some people always say uh follow and follow that's a real organic reach it actually is organic reach because they come to you you know they come to you that's it that's all that's all you care it depending on your content of course if your content is great they will stick they will even become fans probably so for all the people that still don't know what the follow and follow gary v with all of your strategies all about. Let me tell you. For example, you're in a niche, you're into, you know, spaghetti, for example. You have your own spaghetti account, and then you go ahead, take other similar kinds of spaghetti accounts with ideally a little bit more followers than you have, you know, you know, bigger pages the better and try to actually go to their pages go to their posts look out for the people that comment their posts look out for the people that like your posts and then you hit them up and actually start liking them actually start commenting them actually even start following them because when you follow someone you get this notification and it's actually a little bit more buzz behind it right so it actually gets more attention that's basically all you want you want attention you want to trade their attention for your content and you know if your content is great your their attention is all you need. You know, that's a basic thing it actually sounds kind of easy it sounds kind of you know simple it's actually not because you have to be really careful because of a thing called the algorithm or Instagram in general because when you overdo things you will actually get some flack put on your account for example your you know reach going to get lowered you know thing weird things are going to happen you know if you overdo it basically you can actually destroy your account 
and this is what you don't want, man. Just a short discourse uh, towards the algorithm. They don't like spammers. They don't like, you know, botting activity and all of that. And if you actually check out their newest privacy policy thing on there, they, you can actually see that they actually look out for your scrolling behavior, the way that you scroll. And by that, they actually try to figure out who uses a bot, who's a spammer and all of that. What's automated? What's, what's not a real thing? And you actually have to be careful because first of all, you know, lots of people are going to think now, okay, if I follow, let's say 200 people a day and 10% are going to stick it to 20 people, great. In addition to the other people that come naturally to my profile, awesome. Why not make it a thousand people? And then, you know, a thousand, 10% is hundred. If you have 20%, it's 200 followers a day. It doesn't work like that, I tell you that. Because, you know, the more you do, the more you're going to behave like a spammer, the more you're going to behave like a bot, or you're just gonna get some, you know, cheap as bot somewhere from the internet and you know bots gonna follow and penetrate the system of course instagram's gonna notice instagram's gonna going to put some flags on you so don't do it you have to do it by hand or you have to do it by some sort of agency by the way you know for example my agency we have a similar kind of program we basically do this strategy along with some other secret twists actually we do it all in a way like we have hundreds of profiles that we've worked already we know the metrics we know what to look out for of course you know the metrics for each account is different and we do it in a way with some sort of twists and all of that of course it's secret my friends to actually not hurt your account but actually to benefit the algorithm to actually gain massive momentum with it so if you want to you know, give it a try when it work with us uh, I'll link it down below in the description if you by the way decide to work with us within the next 12 hours I've actually decided to give you away something my friends I've recently had some sort of you know secret masterclass where we've gone through all of the things for Instagram you know all of the secret steps and I've decided to actually give away the part of traveling for free because lots of people ask me about it how can i travel for free you know we've had parts of, of this master class be about hacks to actually travel for free and these are hacks that are you know probably not to be found anywhere on the internet usually i don't share my master classes and all of these secret stuff you know just because i want them to stay secret because there's some really big secrets in there but you know, for this time, I've decided to give it away for all of those people that decide to work with us within the next 12 hours. So anyway, let's talk about what you can do actually wrong with the strategy and what are the things that you want to look out for? Because you know, you can certainly do lots of things wrong. Like I already said, your account even could get banned, especially when you use those you know weird bots and all of that. Now, whenever you start with the strategy, you have to slowly progress your way up. You don't want to start following it a thousand people right from the beginning actually you don't want to start you don't want to follow a thousand people a day at all you know keep it low keep it super target targeted look out for people look out for similar people like i said in your audience for their likers for their commenters because those are the people that are mostly engaged with and if you overdo it actually you know, the instagram algorithm is going to say okay this guy is spamming this guy is trying to spam by the way one thing i want to talk about is commenting because there's some bots out there and you know some strategies even the Gary V strategy saying you have to comment on people and you know, we don't really do that because you have to be really careful with that as soon as you put up two or three comments you know within a minute within 10 minutes of the same content or nearly the same content Instagram's gonna notice that and if they see okay you wrote like hey cool content keep up the good work and all of that actually kind of seems to Instagram that you're some sort of spam bot and that's what they absolutely hate. And this is what I've noticed, you know, drives down your engagement a lot is by you commenting lots of the same stuff to other users. You always want to actually have your comment be something meaningful that relates to the post, whatever it is, because the algorithm knows that. If you don't know about that, I have a video about that, you know, about the image recognition software and all of that. So you have to be really careful what you say. It has to be meaningful. Of course, it best works with people if, for example, if they just put up a picture an hour ago and you know within those first hour you interact with all of those people you follow them you interact with them all those people that interacted with this account in the last for example hour because those are the ones that are the most engaged and if you keep doing these things you know after some time 
in your niche and targeted actually, you're going to get some really good results and you're not going to get some you know, non-engaging things, non-engaging followers and all of that. Of course, if your content is good, and you know, this is the main key here. These people are going to stick with you even when you unfollow them because you don't want to you know, follow all of a sudden 5,000 people. These people are still going to stick with you just because of your content and just because they kind of saw you, they kind of stumbled upon you. In this case was probably by you liking or following them. Right, so this would it my friends. It's a strategy of course, it's always going to be a little bit controversial, but you know, if you really want to you know, get ahead of the game, do it. Anyway, again, if you wanna work with us, you want us to do it the right way actually with some other secret stuff steps in it for you to get you know, the maximum growth and all of that possible, you know, just hit me up or uh, sign up actually right now uh, down there. Like I said, in the first 12 hours, we're going to give away this masterclass. My name's Dominic, by the way. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new people, man. There's been so many p new people coming in. I'll probably talk to you tomorrow, probably in a couple of days. And uh, yeah, I'll see you. Bye.